Hello, everybody. Hey, everybody. Welcome to a new video, a new couples video from Gail and Gina Lynn. Yes. And the G5, G5 family, family channel. channel. <laughs> so it's been a while. We were just talking about it. It's been four months. Four months. I believe it. Uh, the last couples video we did was back in October mm -hmm. uh, when we celebrated our fourth year here in the Philippines. And now it's been four years and four months. We've had birthdays, we had um, Christmas, New Year's, we had more birthdays, and now it is February in 2022. So what's new with you in 2022? <laughs> I got my new braces. Oh yeah. When did you when did you start you didn't that? Know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. Um for our audience sake. <laughs> November. <laughs> I gotta say it. Yeah. I got my braces for three months ago. November. Was it just November? I think after my birthday. It seems it's like it's my birthday gift for myself. It seems like a <laughs> lot longer ago than that. Well, and by the way, I'll mention that um you know, we, we've been here in the Philippines long enough that we're sort of accustomed to the cost of living here in the Philippines. So Relative to that, it is expensive, but if you compare what it costs for orthodontic work here in the Philippines to what it costs in the U.S., oh my lord, it is way, way cheap uh, to get braces done here in the Philippines. Uh, you know, I, I'm pretty sure that orthodontic work is considered cosmetic and is not included on, on your dental insurance plan, so it is cash out of pocket. Um, I think so far, if I were estimating, what are we about? Four hundred dollars, give or take. Mm -hmm. Yeah, about yeah. four hundred dollars. Uh, but you're not gonna pay full amount. You have to pay. Well, the four hundred dollars was sort of like the deposit or the down payment, and then we're paying mm -hmm. a monthly uh, for the balance. So all said and done, it's what, forty thousand. So, oh, that's right. That's right. Well, twenty thousand pesos is $400. is four hundred dollars. Yeah. So forty thousand pesos. So yeah, it's going to be about twenty thousand eight hundred dollars, and then you said another hundred dollars for the retainer after the braces are taken out. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Five thousand for the retainer after the. So all said and done, around nine hundred dollars for her tops, for the top braces. Yeah, the top. And her bottoms are fine, so she's really just worried about getting the tops yes. uh, straightened out. So they did one extraction, right? Mm -hmm. Right. And she had had another tooth pulled because it was just in bad shape uh, a few years ago. Yeah. So, uh, so ultimately, she probably would have had to have had two teeth pulled um, for the braces to, to give room for the adjustment. For the adjustment, yes. Okay. All right. So we're uh, three months into that plan. How much longer do you have to go? I don't know. I never asked her. <laughs> you told me it was like uh, one year. Oh. Well, originally you said one year, but then late, later you yeah. said six months. And if you're already three months into. Yeah, it depends on because she has to adjust. And if she says that it's good, because I don't want braces. I told her that I don't right. want down. Right. So she's gonna keep on eye every month for. I got you. So it's not gonna pass over. Like. Okay. All right. And then on my side, uh, you know, just work as usual. You know, got to make the bacon so she can fry it up in the pan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> or me fry it up in the pan, or <laughs> oh, whatever. Anyway, um, chicken in the fry. <laughs> The kids, uh, Grace uh, had a two week uh, spring break and she's back into classes now. Uh, they're doing what they call modules. Yeah, she's uh, doing her classwork here at home. Uh, uh, she uses a tablet to correspond with the teacher. And I actually really like this year uh, compared to last year. This teacher is uh, really bold and outgoing and uh, really even though I don't understand the language, 
I can tell that she's uh, really uh, doing a good job in terms of teaching the classes. Uh, Grace seems to be doing real well. Glory turned five in November, mm -hmm. and she'll start kindergarten this next term. And then our the baby, Galia, had a birthday in September, and so yes. she's a year and four months. Four months. Oh, five months. Mm -hmm. Okay, year and four or five months now, and she's doing great. So, uh, so that's more or less the high level catch up, um, for, uh, for the video, we, Jean Lynn had this brilliant idea to do <laughs> yes. a, um, I saw this in some of the YouTubers, <laughs> you have to follow that <laughs> coffee cat. <laughs> so the way she described it to me, it sounds like the newlywed game. It's kind of like, yeah, it's kind of like, uh, do you know what, Horse. Uh, it's who's most likely to. Oh, okay. Who's most likely to jump on the pool? <laughs> okay. All right. Now you said you wasn't gonna look at these. Did you look at them? Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> I look at it and then. No, I meant before. Oh yeah. I... Before what? Before now. Oh yeah. So you don't. You already know what the questions are. Oh no. Oh okay. Oh, I, uh, some of it I know. Okay. But some I did not. So. All right. So this is the who's most likely to <laughs> All right. beat you. Of Are we going to take turns going back and forth? No, I'm going to ask question. And then if I can't read good English, <laughs> I'm going to beat you. Okay. okay. So first question is, who is most likely to cry during a sad movie? Think you. you. <laughs> <laughs> She's it's, always like, "Why are you crying? Or, it's are him. you crying? <laughs> are you crying? Why are you?" <laughs> <laughs> She's always surprised that I cry at movies. Okay. Now you've I've seen you cry at movies before. Sometimes, if I understand. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What about uh, now? This one. Who is most likely to have their phone run out of battery during the day? <laughs> Me. Because she is constantly on her phone. <laughs> okay. I can't one. even talk to her. She's talking <laughs> on her phone or messaging somebody. Anyway. Mm. <laughs> okay, this one. Who is more likely to meet up after an ag argument first? Who is more likely to make up after, after an argument, argument first? first? Well, I have to deal with Tompo. <laughs> Him. <laughs> and yeah, I'm the softy. I'm usually the one tracking her down, trying Tampo, to find. Tompo, what is Tompo is? Tompo. No, in English. Oh, okay. <laughs> if you don't know what Tompo is, that is a that is very much a Filipina thing, just. Silent. If, if you've never heard of it before, she's <laughs> she's gonna give you the silent treatment. <laughs> now, when we first got married, uh, I didn't understand what Tompo was, and it it was it was pretty intense because she would literally go silent for <laughs> one or two days. Mm, and uh, <laughs> yes, you did. It would it was terrible. And I'm a talker. I like to talk yeah. things out. And so anyway. Uh, but then I learned that it was a thing. I learned that Tompo was a thing. And when I learned what a Tom, what Tompo was, and and I learned also at the same time how to deal with it, then all of a sudden it became a non-issue because now I just say, okay, you go Tompo, I'm going to go over <laughs> here, and when you're ready to talk. But, but the trick is, okay, this is a little FYI, little side note for those of guys that are, are – brand new married to a Filipina when she gives you the silent treatment or Tompo she really does want you to pursue her she's not giving you the silent treatment so that you will ignore her she really does want you to pursue her even though she doesn't act like it she really does want you to pursue her and so I usually go in there I give her I give her about an hour and then I go in there and maybe it's I, just me only anyway but you get the idea. So 
Okay, so, so enough lessons. Some That's... Filipino might understand this, okay? <laughs> yep. Okay, this one. Who is most likely to plan a trip? Well, you come in here with plans all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't trust... Let's go, we love <laughs> But I don't trust your plans. I, I can't... Uh, her, uh, anyway, she has good ideas, but leave the planning to me. <laughs> right? Yes, because we always fight. <laughs> oh, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay, this one. Who is most likely to quit their job? Me. <laughs> Me. Well. <laughs> Are well, you? No, no. No, you're not going to quit. No, uh, I'm the a reason quitter. why. Okay, the reason why I thought about that for a second is because uh she she does not quit when it comes to the necessities of life she oh, yes. she does she go she has whims uh, she's she's very whim centric in other words she will have a great idea and she'll start something and then five minutes later she's decided she doesn't want to do that um uh, so she's very whim centric, mm. but when it comes to the things that matter, she's not a quitter, uh, and neither am I. We yes, we will hang on and fight to the bitter end, yes. basically. So I would say neither of us is quick to quit. Um, this one: Who is most likely to give up on the argument? Neither of us. <laughs> <laughs> Me. You will. Con- you? No, you never give up on the <laughs> argument. You just you just quit talking about it. You just like I just like, like let it go. I'm going. She, she'll just say, just let it go. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> Who is most likely to say sorry first? I never say sorry. <laughs> That's true. She never says sorry. No, I sorry sometimes if I feel like it. <laughs> if you feel like it. If if I tampo her. <laughs> See, I can flip the coin. If I tampo her, <laughs> then after a few hours, she's coming in here and hugging on me and go, baby love, what's wrong? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> this one. Ah, this one is me. Who is most likely to do the grocery shopping? I hate the grocery store. Yes, me. Who is most likely to drive on long trips? Well, I, I do most of the driving. I, I like long trips. I do. <laughs> I do all of the driving. Actually, she she doesn't like to drive the car. Yes, because I, I want to drive, but you don't let me drive. Ah, uh, that's not true. <laughs> she doesn't want to go and take the test. <laughs> I just want to drive. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Okay, this one. Who is most likely to win an argument with their significant significant other over something ridiculous? They both know they, neither of them care about that much, but just can't handle. I mean, just can't ha- admit it. Can you just? Yeah, let me read this again. Who is most likely to win an argument with a significant other over something ridiculous that they both know neither of them care about that much? but just can't admit it yet. Okay. Uh, now the question is, who is most likely to win an argument? We don't really have those kind yeah. of arguments. We don't really. Mm-mm. Next, who is most likely to want another child? <laughs> Me. Let's do it. <laughs> I'll be 56 years old. We, we have had our children. We have moved on. I want one more. <laughs> okay, this one. Who is most likely to give to give most of their belongings away before they move? I will give my belongings away. <laughs> well, we're not really. We uh. When we move. Yeah. Oh yeah, when we move to Texas give a lot (laughs) so i guess both of us yeah i guess both of us 
and this who is most likely to forget your anniversary i never forget neither neither yeah. of us we're we're both kind of sentimental about our our, our events, events life events yes who will do the who will who will do most of the talking when there there are only two people in a room together? You me because <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna wish hands down me. <laughs> I am the talker. Yes. Okay, well, one is, more. Is this one more? No, it's a lot. Oh. Who is most likely to fall asleep on the couch? Him. <laughs> That's true. That's true. If, <laughs> if she's sleepy, she just goes to bed. Yes. If I'm sleepy, I'm still watching the show. This one, who is most likely to skip brushing their teeth? You. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Me before. But now when I have my thing on, I cannot skip. Ah, who is most like you can you didn't say anything about <laughs> <laughs> Who is most likely to surprise the other with a gift? I think I'm the most likely to surprise. <laughs> yes, he is the one. Is it a lot? How many minutes now? Yeah. Okay. Who is most likely to get lost when we go on the road trip together? We never get lost. Uh, and I'm not going to say that I'm some kind of excellent navigator. It's just I use GPS. I use <laughs> Google. And... If we don't have Google. If we didn't have Google, I don't know. I'm, I'm usually pretty good with directions. This one. Who will most likely want more hugs and kisses? Me. Me. Uh, <laughs> I want hugs and kisses too. Well, okay, then both of us. <laughs> okay, the one that you asked. Who is most likely to say I love you? <laughs> Who is the most likely to say I love you, you. first? You. <laughs> you. You in that time. Who is the who is most likely to be most scared to try the new foods? Me. You. Me. He's scared. I'll, I wanna Especially here in the Philippines, <laughs> yes. He don't wanna try balot. I don't I don't either eat balot. <laughs> <laughs> balut is is Philippines famous for uh it's a boiled egg, but it has the baby chicken yeah. in in there and no i don't have the need to experience that there's another word that there's no chicken in there mm -mm. it's just a it's like a boiled egg mm. i don't know so that's it for that's enough for now don't say just enough so that's it i want to say that's it for <laughs> okay go ahead so that's it for our most host most likely two all right all right. Um, <laughs> well, we hope you enjoyed that. I know that's kind of a, a little bit of just, uh, it's just wife a, and hubby banter, but uh, just for fun. Yeah. So you get yeah. to know us. Yeah. Who's yeah. who? <laughs> cool. Cool. Okay. All right. As I always say, you know, we wish you the best in every aspect of your life. Um, if you have any questions about living life in the Philippines, yes. be sure and drop a comment and below. And if you even vaguely liked this video, please click the like button, subscribe, share, share subscribe. all that good stuff. Yes. Um, and uh, as I said, we wish you the best. We'll see you in the next video. Yes. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.